And this is your Matrix Minute. In this Matrix Minute, we'll talk about the top five searching tips. First, we'll start off with the status date. You can put in the number of days by typing in the numbers 0-365 for a one-year search. Or you can use the calendar icon. Just click on the calendar icon, select the beginning date and end the date. Or the fastest way is just type it in. Let's say for one year, 01 slash 01 slash 2020 dash 12 slash 31 slash 2020. And that'll give you your date range, whatever date range you want to use. Number two, neighborhoods. So when you type in the first few letters of the neighborhoods, the drop down should appear. If not, you may have to give it a little time. Okay, so as you're typing the uh, neighborhoods, you're going to notice if you have multiple neighborhoods like Manoa in this case, you can use uh, an asterisk after the Manoa. And what that does, it tells the system to select all of the Manoas, anything starting with Manoas. Because the asterisk key is the wild card. Next, additional fields. If your search field is not there, you can actually add it in there at the bottom. <clears throat> so if you go to the very bottom, click add. We're going to see here in the search field, which is designated by number A, we type in the field name, which is maintenance. So we just type in main. It will appear in the available field, which is uh, displayed in number B. We select maintenance fee, and then we're going to click on add. And what this does is that, which is represented by C, what this does is it moves it over to the selected field. So it has to go from the available field to the selected field. And once you're finished with that, we click the back button. And what, what that does is it'll put that field at the bottom of your search screen. As long as nothing is in that field, um, the system will just bypass it. So as long as you put something in, the system will look at that field and include that in your search. Next, we're going to talk about this is the feature groups. And these are feature items, and, or, and not. So if you select and, the conditions that you have selected are has to be in the search results. So in this case, golf course and ocean. So in all of the results that I get, it has to have both ocean and golf course. If there's more selection, it has to have all of those uh, uh, re in the results. Next one is or, one or the other. So in this case, again, golf course and ocean. So it either has a golf course or ocean in the listing results. And very lastly is not. So if I select park and field, then in the results, they're not gonna have any listing that has a park and field. Okay, we're going on to the next one. Default your favorite criteria. So instead of, uh, you know, you have a favorite way you wanna search, instead of keep on typing these things in on your search screen, you can actually default it. So you select your criteria. In this case, I selected active, industrial showing, not showing, sold, and condo. So I then, in step two, I go to the far upper right corner, click on the gear icon. And then what happens, I select set this as a default. And what happens is that whenever I go into my search, it's already set up. It's that easy. Okay, follow us on social media. And thank you for watching The Matrix Minutes.